In this video, we're going to cover the process for tracking the date that a field changes. To do that, we're going to look at opportunities. So let's open one here real quick. And this comes up all the time, the ability to track the date that a sales stage became active. So in this scenario, I'm looking at an opportunity. I've got my sales stages here, qualifying needs assessment, etc. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put a field on the form to track the date change. So let's do that. I jump over to Customize. I click on Form, so I'm looking at the form itself. I drop down to the Add New Field area in the lower right. When I click on it, I get my dialog. So we'll call this Sales Stage Date, something easy to recognize. And down here in the type, I'm just going to choose a date and time. I'll leave it as the default date only for now and we'll save and close it. So now I have the field that I want to track against. What I need to do is put it on the form. So let's see if we can find some room here. How about there? I'm going to shift this to my custom fields and grab sales stage date, the one we created, and just drag it over and drop it. As always, I'm going to save and publish the form. So that's step one. Once the form is published, the next step is for us to write a workflow that is going to feed data into this date field that we created. So to do that, let's close the form here, and we're going to move over to Settings. We'll close both of these. I drop down to Settings, and Settings, I choose Processes. And in Processes, I'm going to say, let's create a new one. When I click on New, it's going to ask me what I want to call it. I always like to put in the name of the entity that I'm working with to start with, and we'll just give it something descriptive, capture, capture sales stage date, something like that. The entity is the opportunity, and the category is going to be a workflow. Now I go through and I click on OK. It's going to give me the workflow properties dialog box. We'll set a few things and then we'll be on our way. So here, in scope, you always want to change that to organization so it works for everyone. We're going to leave it as record created because the stage could happen when it's first created, right? It's always going to be at a stage. And also, we want to capture when a field changes. What's the field we want to look at? We want to look at the field that is called sales stage date. So what we're saying here is that whenever the sales stage changes, whenever I change it from one thing to another, I want you to do something. And this is what we do. Down here, where it says Add Step, we're going to say Update the Record. That's all we want to do. And here you would put a description, name me for typing, Sales Stage Date. So that's all you're doing there. We're going to update the opportunity itself. When I click on Set Properties, it's going to give me the Properties dialog. All I do is I find Sales Stage Date, and I push a date in there. The easy way to do this is to look at the opportunity itself, and then go down and choose the modified on date. So the last time that it's changed, it's going to push that date into the field. So I click on Add, and then I click on OK, and it's going to push it right there. Once it's in there, all I do is save and close the record. Before I'll be able to see or use this, I want to activate it so that we can test it out. And here we go. So we'll jump into Sales, go back to opportunities, and let's open one that's already there. So on this AB store opportunity, I have my sales stage date. It has no data in it. I'm going to come over here and change it from qualified to needs assessment, and then I'm going to save and close the record. It's the only change I made. Now if I go back and I look at it again, I should be able to see that it currently has a sales stage date, which it did not fill in for some reason, and I, my guess would be that it has not refresh. So let's try and refresh the form, see if we can pick up that date. And as you can see, the sales stage date is 11-19-2012. That's today. So a couple of things there. Number one is it works every time if you fill it out correctly. The second is, remember, workflow is an asynchronous process. So sometimes it might take a couple seconds for it to run. But you guys get where we are. We have a sales stage date now, and I can add that date to my views. For instance, if we look at any view that's on the form here, my open opportunities, I probably have sales stage on here someplace. Maybe not. Let's add it. I go to customize the existing view. You guys know how to do this. I'm going to move right over into the 
add columns field and I'm gonna say let's put sales stage and sales stage date on the form once I do that I'm gonna save and close making sure that I remember to publish and then I'm gonna need to get off of the entity and then get back so that I can see my changes but it's the my open opportunities view and what we should see here is that I can change to another view we'll call it all opportunities and then change back to my open opportunities and I should see some additional fields here sales stage date and sales stage so this will always tell me what date that this changed so for whatever sales stage it's on I can see the date that it became and that'll give you a good idea of how your sales process is flowing how long records stay in one stage versus another stage there's a whole different level that you can go to where you have a field for every stage and you capture and it's a pretty easy extension from where you are but that's how you get started have a great day